This video is sponsored by Exter. The tasks I need to do vary daily, but the tools I use and bring with me remain largely the same. I haven't done a video like this before, but I enjoy watching similar videos from other creators, so I wanted to share mine. My everyday carry is pretty simple, but I think that's the whole point. You don't want to overcomplicate things. I had some reservations at first, but the Apple Watch Ultra has been a really nice upgrade. It has a great battery life. I typically charge mine around two and a half days. The flat display is really nice to interact with, and the titanium frame has been been a really nice change. I wear my Apple Watch Ultra in bed to track my sleep and set my alarms and this allows me to wake up at my desired time without waking up my wife. I actually carry my Apple Watch Ultra with me more than my phone. I literally wear it, but it's also because I like to leave my phone in the bedroom or my office from time to time. I found this to be a good way to disconnect from social media, and I can still make calls, text, and receive important notifications. I cannot express how much I use the timer on my watch. I use it a lot. I have a few bands in my rotation depending on what I'm doing, but most of the time I'm using the sport loop band because it's so comfortable or this titanium band from Nomad which pairs well with the Apple Watch Ultra. It looks so good. The magnetic clasp makes it convenient to take on or off while still being secure on your wrist. For my phone, I have the iPhone 14 Pro in space black. Despite being underwhelmed by the upgrades Apple made, it's still a great device. After a few weeks, I got used to the dynamic island and the phone felt very similar to my iPhone 12 Pro. The main reason I wanted to upgrade was the improved camera. The photos and videos I can take with this phone is pretty amazing. It's great for capturing everyday moments and it's even good enough for posting on social media. In fact, it was the only camera I had with me when I traveled to Europe and I debated whether to bring my A6600 with me but I didn't want to carry extra weight since I knew we were going to be walking around a ton. I'm glad I trusted my gut because I was happy with the pictures I took. Take a look at some of them. I posted some of these pictures on Instagram but mostly they're just for memories and I think the quality is more than enough. The battery life in my opinion is not noticeably worse or better. It lasts me a full day, no problem, and I did turn off the always on display as I think it introduces another layer of distraction which I absolutely don't need. I typically get a new screen protector the moment I get a new iPhone but I have not installed one on this device and yet the screen is still flawless. I'm using the midnight silicone case from Apple which I think gives it enough protection and I just love how grippy this case feels. But it is starting to show some wear and tear. Soon, the corners will probably start chipping and it will be time to get another one. When I have a long day ahead of me and I know I might run out of battery, I bring this nap battery pack by Moth. I like it because it's MagSafe compatible, it's thin and light, so when I'm charging my phone, it's not too bulky to store in my pocket. It can charge my iPhone 14 Pro to about 50%, which is typically enough to get me through the day or at least to a place where I could properly charge my phone. These days, I carry multiple cards whenever I leave the house. I have some for personal use and some for business, and it can be a hassle. But thanks to Exter, it's much more convenient. Exter has smart wallets that are minimal and sleek, and they are much thinner than traditional wallets. They have different types you can choose from. There's the Parliament, which is a more traditional looking wallet. It's made out of leather. Or my favorite, this 3K space grade carbon fiber, which is crazy durable and light. It's actually thinner than my phone, which makes it easy to store in my front pocket. This carbon fiber version holds up to 15 cards and some cash it has RFID protection and this quick access button that makes it convenient to take out your cards so no more fumbling at the cash register. Plus, I think it makes you look cool. If you often misplace your wallet, you can get a solar tracker card. It notifies you anytime you walk away without your wallet and you can ping it whenever you're looking for it. If you are looking for a minimal yet functional wallet, then I highly suggest checking out these ones from Exter. Upgrading to the second generation AirPods Pro was definitely worth it. It's perfect for everyday use. It's small and compact, so it's easy to grab and use when you want, and it's easy to take off and store when required. It now has a total of 30 hours of battery life, and I rarely find myself needing to charge it. My favorite feature though is the volume control. You can now use the stem to adjust the volume, which is a really nice quality of life upgrade. 
It's also amazing for travel. I brought it with me on three trips already and it's an even better travel companion than the previous version. The sound quality improved slightly, but the real standout was the improved active noise cancellation. Plain noise was noticeably reduced while still maintaining a natural sound. Normally, I would switch to my headphones while watching movies on the plane for a better experience, but that wasn't necessary with the second gen AirPods Pros. Movies and TV shows were more enjoyable and listening to audiobooks and music were very pleasant. I actually did not miss my Sony XM5s at all. I always bring my keys with me whenever I leave the house. Thankfully, I have an Orbit Key key organizer which helps reduce bulk in my pocket and eliminates the annoying jingling noise while keeping my keys accessible. I've been using one since 2017 and I can't imagine carrying a set of keys without it. There are various finishes to choose from, mine is the leather version. If ever I need to bring more than what I've mentioned, like my laptop or iPad, I bring my Grams 28151 Stealth backpack. This was a gift they sent to me back in 2021 and I absolutely love this bag. It's made out of full grain Italian leather, which feels so nice to touch. You just know that it's made of a high quality material and it's constructed well. It looks sleek, minimal, and classy. This has been my go-to bag for a quick trip to the coffee shop or even a quick weekend getaway. It has enough pockets for my daily needs and it has a padded laptop compartment where I store my 16 inch MacBook Pro or my iPad. My MacBook Pro has been serving me well. It has the M1 Max with 32 core GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and two terabytes SSD. I have not seen any signs of slowing down with this machine. It has been amazing at handling almost everything I throw at it, and it's definitely been worth the upgrade. For my iPad, I'm still using my 2020 11 inch iPad Pro with Wi-Fi and cellular. It has 256 gigs of storage. I just have not seen a major reason to upgrade and I've been happy with this iPad. I typically have this moth float stand with it. I think it's the best case that you can get for the iPad, especially if you use it mostly as a tablet. If you guys have any everyday carry items that you think I should add to mine, let me know. And if you made it this far into the video, type solid in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.